Number seven, determine whether the following individual events are overlapping or non-overlapping, then find the probability of the combined event. Uh, getting a sum of either 3, 11, or 12 on a roll of two dice. All right, so remember the, the um, or probability here. The probability of event A plus the probability of event B, of event B minus the probability of event A and B occurring at the same time. This is only going to be relevant if, the, if we have overlapping events. So this would be like uh, the probability of getting a, a drawing a spade or a king from a deck of cards. Um, there, those are overlapping events because there is one card that is both a spade and a king. In this case, where we're rolling dice, it's only possible to get um, on a, a sum of a three or a sum of 11. It's, it's not possible to get both at the same time. And so these are going to be non-overlapping events. And so we really don't have to worry about this last part. But notice that there are three different events happening here. So let's add the probability of a third event. And we're just going to add them all together. So the probability of getting a three um, if we roll two dice. Now, first of all, the total number of outcomes is going to be uh, six times six because there's, there's, there's six different outcomes for the first die and there's six different outcomes for the second die. We multiply those together we get 36 different outcomes. Now we have to count up how many of those add to three. Well, you can get a one, then a two, or you can get a two, then a one. Those are the only two possible ways. Um, so it's two out of 36. And then uh, uh, the second one is 11. So again, there's 36 total outcomes. How many of them are gonna sum to 11? Well a five and a six, or a six and a five. Again, there's only two different possibilities for 11 there. And then uh, for, for C, the prob uh, probability of getting a 12, uh, again, there's 36 possible outcomes if you roll two, die, uh, two dice. The, the probability of getting a 12, well, there's only one way that you can get a 12. Uh, that's a six and a six. So now we add all these up, and we get uh, 5 out of 36. And that's going to be the probability for the combined event of getting either a 3 or an 11 or a 12 on two dice.